Welcome to this series of automotive networking videos from Deep Thought Systems India. At Deep Thought Systems, we design and manufacture hardware and software tools for diagnostics, simulation and testing of automotive electronics. Conforming to industry standards, our tools are used by vehicle OEMs, tier 1 suppliers and service companies in India, US and Europe. Firstly, let's look at why simulation. When design engineers start work on an ECU project, it is often handy to have a vehicle simulator in the lab rather than to take it to the real vehicle. Since vehicle communications conform to industry standard protocols like CAN, J1979, J1939, etc., these signals can be simulated in the lab so that the ECU under development receives exactly the same messages as in a vehicle environment including the strict timings mandated by these standards. Thus, a simulator helps to get the initial development done in the lab with a high degree of assurance that the parts of functionality that have been tested and proven in the lab will work reliably on the real vehicle. Combosim 1000 provides just that value. Simulation of J1979 messages for passenger cars as well as J1939 messages for heavy vehicles and hence the name Combo. Combosim 1000 comes with a DB9 connector for CAN bus connectivity. To interface it with your ECU, we could supply a custom cable with the mating connector of your ECU. Combosim 1000 supports both manual and dynamic modes of simulation. In manual mode, five potentiometers are provided to manually vary five predefined messages like accelerator pedal position, engine load, engine temperature, speed, and engine RPM. In dynamic mode, the values of predefined messages ramp up from minimum to maximum of the corresponding range defined by the standard. Dip switches are provided for changing various settings like manual versus dynamic mode, 500 versus 250 kbps baud rate of the CAN bus, J1979 versus J1939 protocol, and 11 versus 29 bit CAN message identifier. After changing a setting, the reset switch must be pressed for the change to take effect. We will first show you how Combosim 1000 could be used to simulate J1979 messages for passenger cars. For this, we will be using the popular Talk app on Android and a third party OBD Bluetooth dongle. We first connect the OBD Bluetooth dongle to Combosim 1000 using an adapter cable. Then, we Bluetooth pair the Android device to the dongle. Next, we run the Talk app and assign gauges corresponding to the potentiometers for speed, engine RPM and engine temperature, etc. as defined by the J1979 standard for passenger cars. Now watch carefully as the potentiometer for engine RPM is rotated. Watch the corresponding gauge on the app. Now, to switch to dynamic mode, change the mode dip switch and hit reset. Watch the gauges as the parameters are ramped automatically by Combosim 1000, starting from their minimum value up to their maximum value in equal steps and back all over again. We will now show you how Combosim 1000 could be used to simulate J1939 messages for heavy vehicles. For this, we will be using a J1939 monitor application on Windows and a CAN USB converter called CANMATE, both of which are designed and developed by us. We first connect CANMATE to Combosim 1000. Then we connect the USB end of CANMATE to the PC or a laptop. Once Windows detects CANMATE, we run the J1939 monitor application. The application displays parameters like speed, engine RPM, engine temperature, etc. as defined by the J1939 standard for heavy vehicles. Now watch carefully as the potentiometer for engine temperature is rotated. Watch the change in the value of the corresponding parameter on the application. Watch similarly for other parameters. Again, to switch to dynamic mode, change the mode dip switch and hit reset. Watch the values of the parameters ramped automatically by Combosim 1000 from minimum to maximum 
in equal steps. We hope you got an idea of how Combosim 1000 could be used for simulating J1979 and J1939 protocol signals in the lab. We could customize it as per your specific ECU testing requirement, like a different set of predefined messages or a different periodicity of dynamic ramping. If you are looking for advanced simulation, like simultaneous variation of multiple parameters, as in a real vehicle environment, or capture playback of real-time vehicle parameters in specific drive scenarios, we could discuss and offer you a high-quality simulation solution in a short turnaround. If you have queries, please contact us and we'll be happy to assist you. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.